Hi fans of high quality entertainment. I am with Glenn Kellaway from the basement. He's in my basement. Yeah. Wait till the applause dies down. So last time Glenn gave me, I wanted it actually, Procol Harum, Broken Bear Cates. I didn't give it to you, Larry. I just lent it to you to listen to. Glenn gave me some cake, prolonging the magic. He gave me Leon Russell signature songs he gave me the 13th floor elevators uh, the psychedelic sounds of the 13th floor elevators and stand by sly and the family stone and what did i give you Glenn? what did i force you to listen to that sounds and heat hallelujah 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 Genesis Live. The Ramones rocking Rocket to Russia. And uh Midnight Oil, one, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Okay. But how do you think I'll rank those and I'll guess how you work how you them? Okay, I'm ready. You want me to you go first. I think I'm hoping, because I don't know why you wouldn't, but I'm thinking Number five will be Ramon's Rocket to Rush, even though I think it's a great album. I just don't think he'll kill it. Pet Sounds at number four, not number five. Can't Heed at number three. Midnight Oil, I think you, it's such a great album. So it's got to be at least number two. And I'm hoping number one is Genesis Live because it's so awesome. Yeah. Oh, what, did it, what do you think I'll rank those? Okay, I think number one, Propyl Harem, because you just, you're a Propyl Harem guy. I'm hoping Stan's going to be number two, because this is the best Sly and the Family Stone album, but you, oh, I don't know. Cake, number three. I think you took a big chunk of cake. Leon Russell, Signature Songs 4, and 13th Floor Elevator is number five. Boy, is he off. Oh. You go first, Glenn. Number five. Number five, Larry. Really? I, I own... I never really paid attention to Midnight Oil. I knew their hit, Audi, I think, Bun the Wheels. I knew that song. That was the only thing I ever knew. About a year ago, our friend Randy Nelson kind of convinced me to give these guys a try, and I bought two albums, and I loved them both. But they were great. So I was expecting to like this, and I thought this was the worst of the three. So not that it's a bad album, but I was just disappointed that it wasn't as good as the other two. Uh, I just didn't find any songs that really, like I can't even pick a song that was any better oh, than the rest. Very the uh, power and the glory. Very kind of Passion. just average album for me, Larry. Well, Glenn, you're So I'm going to give it a five and a half out of I'm going to give you a 3 out of 10. <laughs> My number 5 is 13th yeah, Floor I knew it. Elevators. I knew you wouldn't like that. It, I did not like it. Uh, and then there's that annoying... What, what's that thing they play most of the songs? Oh, yeah, yeah. German? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just so annoying. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's good <laughs> so that you heard it anyway. I would give it's this kind a, of classic album. Yeah. A 3 out of 10. Wow, a 3. <laughs> I think generous. that might be the worst album I've ever given you. Yeah. Next, Larry. Ramones. Yeah. Um, short, tight rock and roll music. I mean, that's what it is. It's, yeah. uh, but it's just too loud and <laughs> bangy for me. It's not. Okay. They yeah, don't do it as good as Grand Clash. It's, yeah, but that's Grand, not. But I mean, come loud. on. No, I down. don't mean. It's just. It's noisy without any dynamics to the music. That's all. There's no dynamics. I need some. I need my dynamics, Larry. Number four for me is Leon Russell. It's it's good. I I I think by the end of it, because it's kind of samey. It's just yeah. the, the piano and his vocals. Yeah. And by the end, it's got a little tiring for me. But I mean, he's great. Like, Delta uh, Lady is one of my favorite songs and. A song for you so it's really good like it is really good nothing against it but just to listen to it it's, gets kind of same 
with just the keyboards. Nice if and you're having a nice romantic vocals. evening with uh, with myself. With yourself. <laughs> yeah. I'll give that a seven out of ten. It's it's a okay. seven. Well, that's better than the three yeah. that the uh, the nineteenth floor elevators got. Larry. This might be one of the most boring live albums I've ever heard in my friggin' life. It it is just like lifeless. Lifeless, Larry. This guy doesn't know his The first music. song, Watcher of the Skies, is great. I love that. And I thought, oh, that's this could be a killer album. I was like excited. And then it just kind of went, yeah, there's no The like, Knife Plan, the last did song. Peter, did Peter it Gabriel uh, take a, a Valium when he made this album or something? And you know what's wrong with Genesis? They have a great guitar player in the band. They don't let the fucking guy play. Excuse my language. They don't let the friggin' guy play. I'm sorry. I swore on Larry's channel. Well, number three, I hate this album. I hate it. No. It's Cake. The first time I played this, I did not like it. Really? But I, I played it three more times, and every time I liked it more. So I, I do like it. Yeah, oh, I I'm surprised. I like, like by the second yeah. listen, it's like yeah, it's, it's a slow I, roller. I start, yeah, so if you know, if I saw this like in like Value Village where for a few dollars, well, that's I where I it. saw it. Yeah, I buy it. Yeah, so I'd give this a seven point five out of ten. Seven point five. We're not doing well today, Larry. I think we disappointed. No, it's good. Sevens are not good. Number two, Larry. You thought it would be like number four. This pet sounds. And you know why it's number two? Because the other one sucked. It had to be number something had to be number two. It if you gave me five good albums, this would have been number five. It, if anything, Larry Wouldn't it be nice if it was number one? If anything, Larry, my uh, opinion of this album has gotten lower rather than better. So thanks for lending it to me, because now I am absolutely hundred percent sure this is not a masterpiece. There's three good songs on this album. Wouldn't it be nice? Sloop John B, God Only Knows. The rest of the songs are so weak. And I would rather listen to Jan and Dean's best, greatest hits. It's just horrible surf music. Great production. Brilliant production. Genius production. Genius harmonies. I understand why people listen to it and they go, oh, wow. But the songs are too weak. They just are. Write a good song and put it on Pet Sounds, Brian. Sheesh. Number two for me is Sly and the Family, which could be number one. I think I did. And, and you ranked them exactly. Exactly. You did, yeah, for the first time. Yeah. Uh, like, I was thinking, hearing, you know, I, I know some of these songs really, really well, but like Everyday People's got to be the best song about racism and yeah. everything. It's one of the greatest songs from the 60s. We're all the same. Right? And, uh, well. We all bleed red. And then uh, Stand, of course. Somebody's watching you. Sing a simple song. Yes, I do like Sex Machine. Oh, I love that. Uh, but, dan, and then, dan, then, dan, then, then dan, don't dan, call dan, me dan, M. Whitey. Yeah. How come How come I, I can say Whitey, but I can't say the N word? But yeah, this is I like, say the W word. He Sly Stone and the, the whole band is one of the greats for sure. Do you like that better than life? Because you love life. Yeah, yeah. I think it's better. I think so. Ten out of They're ten. They're both good though. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Well, number one for me, Larry, is the Candy. Because I mean, Electric Blues from LA. Yeah. These guys are just a great band. Yeah. Uh, I, Every song on this is great. Yeah. Guitar works great. You got to get that, Glenn. I, I do have to get this. I love that guy's uh, Alan, Wil it's, it's yeah, Alan Wilson. Yeah, Alan Wilson. I love his vocals. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Sounds just yeah, like Yeah, as soon as you get to the second yeah. track and you, you hear his voice and you just yeah. go, ah, oh, yeah. that's magic, that guy. Yeah. How does he do that? Yeah. Uh, I think it's when he had his testicles removed. <laughs> you know that. I, it, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is my number one. This is 10 out of 10. I love that album. Yeah. Number one for me is Procol Harum. I love Procol Harum. This one rocks. Lots of great guitar work. My favorite song, though, is actually uh, Song for a Dreamer with Robin mm -hmm. Trower. Mm -hmm. It's a tribute to Jimi Hendrix, and it is just so amazing. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, this was the last one with, and I've never heard his. And then he went on to play like when his solo albums are all sound like Hendrix. Yeah, I've never heard his solo. Oh really? Have... They, yeah. So maybe I don't sometime. have any of them. No, no. Yeah. But they're all they're they're I, very. I used to think he was kind of laid back, but I no. guess he's more rocky. Yeah, yeah. no. But this is uh, ten out of ten too. I've got other Procol Harum. I need to get this sometime, or you can just give it to me if you like, because you do owe me ten dollars. <laughs> that won't work. <laughs> nice try. Can so I that's my it. CDs back? I guess so. Uh, or are they yours? These are mine, Glenn. You can't have them back. Well, which ones are mine? Right here. It's two. Three. Three. So now in the next video, Four. we're going to give each other five. I'll give five, you that for ten bucks. Five? No, it's okay. Well, we're going to give each other five more CDs that suck. So stay tuned for that. And make sure you subscribe to his channel. Yeah, whatever. Bye. Um, bye. You ready? That was good. I'm ready.